Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Today I'm gonna to be making my first um, mod video and I've been wanting to put uh, flaps on the T20 Trojan for me flight. Um, <laughs> the more I fly, the more I like it. Uh, the only thing is, is it is kind of floating. So especially when you're in, um, you know, close quarters, uh, you don't have a lot of uh, runway or anything like that, it becomes a little bit of an, an issue. But anyways, um, I already have the, let me get a little bit closer. I already have the lines um, pre-marked there of more or less what I wanted to do. So, okay. We'll see how it comes out. Okay, so now uh, we are gonna choose one of the lines. I'm gonna start with, uh, we already did this cuts right here and here as clean as possible. Again, brand new blade, very, very important. Now, I'm gonna put my ruler right about where my second line is. Okay, right about there. And we're gonna choose an angle. This one, as you guys can, I don't know if you guys can see there, Okay, so we start here and we're gonna try to keep the same angle all the way through. And moved a little bit. I should have grabbed some. There you go. Okay. Do a superficial cut right about the middle. Then we do again. Try to keep the same angle all the way through. And we're almost there. Done. Okay. Finish it up. Let me see, let's do it backwards this time. Right there. Okay. Okay, that's a nice clean cut right there. As you guys can see. Okay, now, after that, we're gonna do the same thing on the other one, but we're gonna make sure to keep each side exactly where it's supposed to go. Okay, we're gonna do the same thing on this side. Put it right there, hold it tight. I got some clamps up I can put here, but I'm not, not gonna bother right now. So you wanna choose this same angle. Let me move it to this side. You're gonna choose this same angle that we have here on the ailerons and uh, right about there. Put your middle finger more or less to give you a guide. So let's go back to place. We start right at the beginning. Let's do the first one. That looks pretty good, right there. I'm gonna do it again. Try to go all the way through this time. Got it, okay. Another pretty decent cut. Uh, yep, looks pretty good, right about there. We can hit this with some sandpaper after a while just to make it um, nice and smooth. And uh, again, we're gonna keep it on both sides. Now, we're gonna move this out of the way and we're gonna do exactly the opposite for here. Make sure it should be on this side right there. Now, here you're gonna have to definitely put some pressure on it, okay? Remember, middle finger right there, just to give it some, there you go. Make a nice shallow cut first, just to give you an idea. Do it again. One more time. There you go. So as you can see, well, this one did not come out all that good, 
This is supposed to be a lot thinner than this, but anyways, we'll figure out. Let's see. Nope, nope, we just screwed it up, honestly. Okay. That needed to be much deeper angle. So, what we're gonna do here is Yeah, I should have done it backwards. Yep, should have done it backwards. Okay, so let me pause it for a second. I'll show you how you're gonna how we're going to um, fix this thing. Okay, so we made a little boo boo here. So what we're gonna grab is a little bit of medium CA. We're gonna put it right on this on this edge. Get as much as we can in there without overly doing it. And we're gonna put this thing back where it was, right there, okay. Lift it up so we don't have, nice, okay. We can use some of the accelerator, but as you can see, it does affect the, the color a little bit. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what we're gonna do, now we fix that little boo-boo there. We're gonna turn it over. Okay, we're gonna grab our ruler again. If I can find it, what the heck did I do with it? Here it is. Okay, and we're gonna put the ruler all the way in the edge, exactly in the edge. And now, we're gonna run it from the edge, and we're gonna run it the opposite way. So this is what we're gonna take out one, that's two passes, and the third one out. Good, okay. So now we should have, see, that's, that was the difference right there. First cut, second cut. Okay, so we're gonna do the same thing. This is gonna be my left wing. This is gonna be my right wing. So we're gonna do this side, right about there. And we're gonna go the same way. Putting your middle finger in the middle there. You're gonna do first cut. Oops, I went a little bit over. Okay, use the ruler as a guide. And that's my second one, okay. So, now, we should have a pretty nice even cut. So, now when we do our flaps, and the flaps are closed, Okay, let me put it on camera for a second. So, this is how they're gonna end up right there. So now when we put our flaps down, this is gonna be our landing flaps right there. So that, that looks pretty good. Now, what we can do here is two things. One, you can grab some tape and just literally just put some tape around there on one side and the other, you can put some clear tape and you don't have to paint over it. But I like hinges. So, and another thing, sorry, I forgot. We're gonna have to give it some space in between. So we have some free floating. So just about a 16th of an inch on each side and just go perpendicular to the that's one cut, that's two cut, three cuts. Okay, that is about a sixteenth of an inch right there. So let's just do the same thing on the other side. Very thin, just so we don't get rubbing in in the fuselage. I mean, on the wing itself. Okay, so let's see how this is gonna go. 
Yeah, that looks pretty good right here. So if you get in the middle, you get a 16 of an inch. Actually, if you just do a one pass on, a, on one side, that should be all you need. Now, again, you can go ahead and put some tape. You can fold it like this, put some uh, paint it first, tape it, and then do the same on the other side. But my problem is that tape does not adhere all that well to, um, to tape, I mean to paint. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put hinges in there. I'm gonna put some plastic uh, hinges and I'm gonna put about maybe, I think two should be enough. Let's see how it looks on this side. Mm, I have a little thing right there, but that should be all we need. Now this could have been a cleaner cut. I'm sorry guys, that was my fault. Okay, so before we do any of that, we gotta paint all of the inside areas, all the white foam, paint all of that. So it's discreet, so to speak. Yeah. Yep, I could have done a little better job, but I didn't, sorry about that. I hope you learn from my mistakes, guys. Okay, so I'll come back for this. Okay, so next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna grab just buy a decent quality brush. It's worth it, trust me. It's on all our edges. We are just going to paint them all. Just hide all the white foam. Again, even if the color doesn't match perfectly, it's okay. This one actually is a pretty decent match. And I'm gonna make it, I wanna give you a trick to hide the top part, at least the one that shows. This is gonna be, there you go. And we're gonna let it dry. I'm gonna grab one. We're gonna do the second one. take the excess out just in case right there that looks pretty good this is going to make a big difference with the final product because you're not gonna be able to see the white foam. And again, even if it's not the exact same color, it's gonna be so much better. Okay, there you go. So now we're gonna do we're gonna do the exact same thing. By the way, this is a very soft brush. So you don't see the brush strokes a little, uh, you know, they don't show that much. Now, so we got our left wing and our right wing, and we're gonna do the exact same thing on the inside of the wing itself, so. There you go. It requires quite a little bit of paint to get right in those grooves. I did sand it down just a tad, but still it comes up. I mean, I know this is tedious, so you guys can skip right to the next step if you want to. I am just, giving you the choice. Wow, this is getting, uh, okay. I'm gonna do the other one now. Just like that. Hmm. 
if you hear those steps <laughs> clicky 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 that is uh, my uh, what i want called my grand pet her name is oreo she's a rat terrier and i am uh baby center her for a while i'll introduce you guys to her a little bit later okay and on the background you can hear a chicken if you've seen a couple of my videos you're gonna know who she is it's a cockatiel that i rescue out of a tree out of a big oak okay so now we're gonna wait till this dries up I'm gonna go to the next step later okay now what we're gonna do paint is dry everything looks good we have uh, both sides made it now um, we can just if you want it all we needed to do would be just put some uh, tape on both sides um, open it like this, flex it as much, put tape there and do the same thing on this side. But I'm not a tape kind of guy. I like my hinges. So we're gonna use nine gram servos. So um, tape does give some resistance. So I have uh, some nylon um, hinges here. Um, they're like the half inch size. Uh, it says, uh, yeah, 11 by 25 millimeter. And uh, I'm gonna put two on each. So. You can do the tape if you want to do it uh, a little bit faster, but I like my hinges. Okay, so let's put this away for a second, my dear. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna choose two sides, okay? Doesn't have to be exact. I mean, it, it doesn't really have a, um, so I'm gonna do exactly one and a half inches. Well, let's put it in millimeters better. We're working in there. Ah, come on. There you go. Okay, so. Okay, so we're going to do, I would say, 35 millimeter maybe. Right there. And we make a little mark right here. And we do the same thing on this side. Okay, so we got, I like to do this. I got a mark right there. And we got a mark down here. So, as close as possible to the edge, to what would be the top actually of the wing, we're just gonna make a cut. I would say about an eighth of an inch from the end. And in the same angle as parallel with this side and all you're gonna do is run your exacto knife like this okay same thing on the other side but about an eighth of an inch that's it so we test it right here looks pretty good we do the same thing on this side it looks really good right there okay so that's gonna be hmm, hmm. Apparently I went slightly over on this side that's the reason why we call this channel rookie RC <laughs> okay right there now this <clears throat> after we do this oops let's come up here and we're gonna fold it in like this and make sure that it is that remember the 16th of an inch that we took out of each side okay so we're gonna mark it right there right there same thing on this side let's hold it tight let's see again okay and the same eighth of an inch that you left on one side we're going to do on this side see if i can get, get up. okay 
Okay, where is it? Right. Uh, what the heck? Got it. Okay. So. Okay, we're gonna do the same thing here. Before we put any glue or anything like that, we're going to test fit. Looks good right there. Nice. Okay. So don't worry about this. We ended up, we're going to end up putting a little bit of tape on this side anyways and painted it over. But there you go. That's my full flap, half flaps, and no flaps. I don't like this cut. Unfortunately, I, uh, I was doing it a little too uh, eager and didn't come out all that nice. But anyways, like I say, this wing itself, and you can, you can see here, this has tape on both sides. So now that we have a good test fit, we are gonna do some medium CA. And we are gonna apply CA only like that. Let's move the wing over. And we're gonna apply a little bit of CA to the tip of the hinge. That's it side the other side not too much because what happens is if you get it too close to the actual hinge there you go what's going to happen is you're going to get some glue in the actual joint and that ain't, I'm sorry that is not going to be that good so very little a little bit on both sides, not much. Whatever excess is gonna drag itself in, and just for the heck of it, you definitely wanna play with it. So if a little bit of the, of the um, CA gets in there, you can just snap it off. Mm-hmm. Okay, we can put a tad of the accelerator in. I wouldn't put too much. Keep on moving it. Just in case you get a little bit in there. And this actually got a little bit in. Might have put a little too much on that one. But it's fine. It's, it's pretty free. Okay, same as this one. <clears throat> Sorry. Okay. Now, just let it sit for a second and we'll be right back. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and this is already uh, set. So we're gonna test fit the hinges on the side there you go and it looks pretty good very marble right there so now what we're going to do is go the same procedure on this side i'm going to go ahead but this time i'm going to apply it on the actual slot that we made very very little you know, just a tad, this one here, just a tad, and there you go. Let's see if you guys can see it there. Make sure that this edges right here are, um, are flush. That's one of the most important parts right there. See, look at the look at the original. Look at the size 
of the gap right there. We have much less than that. And now just let it. Mm -hmm. Perfect. So we're gonna let that sit and we're gonna go into the other side. Okay, I finished doing the same thing on this side, my right wing right there. So it looks pretty good. There's still that gap in there. So what with the gap, what I did was I just got some packing tape about three quarters of an inch thick and put just a couple pieces there. This is gonna be strictly cosmetics. Uh, we'll run some paint on top of it, so, <clears throat> sorry. So uh, it, you won't see the gap and it looks, it's gonna look so much better now. Okay, so what we're gonna do next is we're gonna decide, we're gonna get our roll of, roll up towel there. And we're gonna decide where are we gonna put our servos. So this, the leading edge, it's uh, the thickest part of the wing. So we gotta make sure to clear the um, landing gear. And the landing gear, it goes, this is gonna be the side if I'm not mistaken. Let's see? Yep, this is where it goes. So if we put it anywhere, basically similar to this side, so we can take this measurement and, and copy it exactly here. Okay, uh, what we've got to make sure is, now, this is the tape that they put on top, so uh, you can have the, the, the wires going in, okay, like right there. So, what we're going to do is basically try to fit it right in the same spot, right there. Okay, so that way we can use, so I'll be cutting, let me see. It's going to be somewhere here. So I can use the same channel to uh, feed the wires through. So we're going to go ahead, going to get an exacto knife here. And we're going to make a cut on this piece of tape. We're going to lift that piece of tape up. And we're going to try to run our wires through. Okay. So <clears throat> this is side. Right now, again, we're going to do our caliper. So from the edge, put it in front of him, from the edge to the center, it's gonna be about uh, 44 millimeters, okay? So we're gonna, gonna do the same thing over here. It looks a good spot. So you just mark it. Okay, use the back of the exacto knife just to give you an idea. That's where we wanna have the center. So basically, same distance from here, it's gonna be the same distance from this side. Okay, so our control horns, I got a couple of clear ones here. I got it from another model, I believe it was from another model. And the only thing you gotta make sure is the thickness of the screw that's gonna be the same as the, oh, you know what? We're right at the hinge, so we can't do that. We can't do it on the hinge. If you see the mark, it's gonna be right there, so we're gonna have to go through the hinge. So let's put it a little bit towards one side or the other. So in order to clear the hinge, we're gonna attach it eh, right about there, okay? So we're gonna make a mark with the back of our X-Acto knife where, I can show you, there you go. We're gonna be there, we're gonna be here, okay. So we're gonna aim, we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. So that meant 55 millimeters to start. So we're gonna do the same thing on this one. Yep. We clear our hinge, and this control horn is gonna be on this side. So we go ahead and mark this side. Okay. Cool. On the landing gear out of the way, and. Gonna go ahead and try to install our control horn right now. Again, we gotta make sure that we have enough clearance. Okay. 
you gotta make sure that when you pull the screws out, you have enough clearance for the thickness. And this screw, I want a little bit of high wire, okay. So that will give us, I would say roughly, say right there, that will give us about six millimeters. Let's see if that is, no, no. So, unless we get some longer screws, this is not gonna work. Okay, so I found the correct, I had a larger <clears throat> um, control horn, same, I found a clear one, that's nice. But still, the back, <clears throat> The back of the screw will go to work, but the, the front one, the one towards the leading edge, they were too uh, too short. So I found some longer screws, cut them to size. Just snap them off, right there. And we got what we need. So, I'm gonna go ahead and present them there. Okay. So let's go to the back of it and place our back panel there. Screw them in. And they're going very nice. So we'll do this one too. Okay, so our control horns are on. Except this screw didn't want didn't go where it's supposed to go. Let's see. Oh, it's there. Hmm. Let's see. Yep. Did it grab? I gotta make this video shorter somehow. For some reason it's not coming out straight. Let me fix this for a second. Okay, so we got one of our control horns on. The other one's gonna go in now. So I got my first screw in there. And I'm gonna go ahead and put the back plate. This is um, the screw that I had to go a little bit long on it. Okay. Now, let's put the original screw in there for the back. That is definitely long enough. Okay, it's going in. It's not easy to match. There you go. Actually, this one went in nice. Make sure your screws don't stick out too much here. So that's it, we got a control horn sign. A little bigger than I wanted, but that's what we have. There's a reason why, and the reason is because of the thickness. Okay, so this goes in. Good. Okay, so now we're gonna figure out the position of the servos, so look. Here's one of my servers right there. Oh, this is a used one. Let me get the... They're close enough to the fuselage that we don't need. There you go. I got some, uh, this is some FMS that I bought a little while ago. So, actually it should be, but um, well, we're gonna do it on the other step. So, we're gonna put this one's about the same distance from here, as you guys can see. So we're gonna do right about there. This dark line here is the channel for it. So, what we're gonna do, we're gonna mark right here, and we're gonna cut that tape nice and smooth. Don't go too deep. 
because you're going to cut the wires for the ailerons. Don't worry about this. We're gonna put the same exact tape back inside. We've got plenty of room in there to do it. So now what we're gonna to have to do is mark where we want our servo. So we don't wanna interrupt in, I mean, in, in the channel itself, so we're gonna place it right about there, okay? So now what we wanna do is we're gonna mark the exact location gonna do as as close to the edge as possible right there right there and this okay this is gonna have to be a little wider so we're gonna have to cut a little bit more of the tape okay and the back of it Mark, mark, there, and slightly bit more of the tape. Okay, so we got a shape right there. So let me give you guys closer. Okay, so let's start the cutting. Try not to go to the, what I would do it's, I would figure out the depth that you need to go. I would say about half blade in. You can mark it also if you want to. I'm just gonna go ahead and go half blade in. There you go. This is smooth. Right there. This cut right here. And this is a slot for the servo arm. You don't want to cut in too deep because you now you're going into the integrity of the wing. So if you want, you can grab a, a Sharpie and do the marking as deep as you want, uh, deep as you want to go. Okay. Okay, so we got the perimeter done. Unfortunately, we have to carve. So I'll do a side cut right here. And lift the piece. Just like that. We'll, we'll clean it up later. Do the same thing again. Again, try not to go too deep. And now you can push it sideways like that. Or long ways. So we're gonna apply some hot glue again. So even if you go a little deeper than uh, you're supposed to, then that's okay. Because uh, hot glue gun will fill, fill in whatever gaps that we can uh, leave there. See, just go like that. Mm. Getting too close to the edge there. Okay. Do the same thing on this side. Mm -hmm. And here, so. Take the two, oops, uh -huh. got my, my 
blade got loose. Okay, we're gonna remove this here. I'll remove this here like that. This cut was not done right. Be careful, we got the wires here from the for the elevator. For uh, I'm sorry, for the aileron. Okay. Let's test fit and see how it does. It looks pretty good. It's a little too oh uh, forgot the um, forgot the space for the wires. Okay. Yeah, we do have some shallow areas there. Just clean it up. It's better to take off a little bit at a time than having to figure out how to put it back on. You see? Still has a little bit of, it's a little bit raised. Even though that's a pretty good, uh, that's a pretty good mark right there. We're gonna do, this is gonna to have to come this way. So I believe we're gonna to have to go a little deeper in here. I don't know if you guys can see, I'm hoping you do. Okay. Space for the servo arm. And now, they have some they have some um, flat blades for this that might be a good idea to get just to do this particular part but this is what i have on hand so i have to figure it out just clean it up a little bit try again try not to go too deep it's getting messy but hey mm, that looks really nice right there Still has a slight over here. Hmm, okay. And I believe it's in the edges. The corners right there. I'm never gonna board you with the other side. So I'm just showing you one side. You guys can skip to the next step if you want to. looks much better there you go nice this is flush very nice and flush and let me see make sure and yep yeah. perfect got it right there okay again don't worry too much about this we're gonna go to him that's why the first thing I asked you was go ahead and find some good paint uh, as close as uh, matching as you can. So, you any boo boos, we can take care of. So, okay, so I'm gonna break right here. I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. The only thing I'm gonna um, uh, make sure is that the direction. Uh, we're gonna have to get our a little servo tester, put it on center, and check our directions because if um, you may need to get a, um, a reverse servo for the other side or if it's the same one, then you're gonna have to place it um, in the same um, orientation, but on this side, okay? If they're gonna operate in the same uh, direction. So, okay, so I'll go ahead and pause it. I'll be right back. Okay, so I found another servo. Uh, the FMS, they're actually reverse servo, both of them. So, um, got one installed. But I found a different one that I rescued from an old plane that I think once you put them opposite, they work in the same direction. Okay. Okay. That's what we need. So what we're gonna do it's on this one, we're gonna bring it up a little bit so your, um, your uh, limit on, on this particular direction, uh, it's gonna be, right now, it's having a little bit of a hard time getting to it. So 
I'm gonna put, so the limit on that side is towards, um, not as, as uh, close to the wing, except, um, you know, that's what I'm trying to say, I'm sorry. Okay, so, like I say, I found one that works opposite to it. That way we can put both the bodies of the actual server towards the fuselage so it'll balance the weight. I mean, not like a, you know, nine, nine gram server is gonna make that much of a big difference, but you wanna put it as, a, as close as possible, weight distributed exactly from the center. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and install this one and I'll be right back. Okay, now I got both of my uh, servos in. Let me show you the tester. They're both um, hot glue got in and their servo arm is centered to what we want it, okay? Now, here we go. Looks good. That's one of our limits, that's the other limit, so. That's it. Now, are we gonna proceed this? We're gonna go ahead and try to feed the wires. Let's see, move this out of the way. We're gonna feed the wires through to the other side, very simple. There you go, ah, nice. That was uh, kind of painless. Beautiful. Keep it nice and tight under there because we're gonna grab that high glue gun and we're gonna put that um, um, piece of tape that we took out right back exactly where it was. So we're gonna do the other side now. Okay, and I have it right here on the other side. It's pulled. Just try to keep it flat so it's not twisting. And we're there. Okay, now let's um let's go ahead and we got our servos in, our wires fed, and now it's just, let's put the rod in. I will say second hole, hole from the top, it's your best bet, right there, and then you mark more or less where you want it. You do have some threading options here, so leave it, leave it long. Let's say about a quarter of an inch, or a little bit less, longer, And then we go ahead, there, we bend it one way, and nice and tight, we bend the other. Okie dokie, okay. Before we cut, let's double check. Oh, we got plenty of it, ooh, that's too much. This is gonna go there, yeah, we can still do it, okay. So, cut the excess, right there. And we're gonna feed it through. Remember, I have uh, my servo tester with the aft limit. So we got a lot to go through. But anyway, that's better than cut it too short. So you tie it down. <laughs> Hmm, I think we're there. Let's see. I like to choose second from the top. Or, mm, actually, okay. I went a little too much. Let's loosen it up a couple. One, one full turn. Second from the top. That looks really nice. Okay. Because you guys can see it there. Now. Let's do, that's landing, that's takeoff flaps, that's landing flaps. This looks good. Hmm. Yep. Whoa, we got one done. Okay, let's go to the next. Again, I have my tester on, so 
I can feel my limits. We're gonna do the same thing on this side. I'm gonna do second from the top. Just fit it in and put your hand right here just to have it at, at um, level. And uh, we're gonna go over a little bit more right about there. So I would say an eighth of an inch past, not a quarter. I would say an eighth of an inch past. Do your first bend, tip, do your second bend. Just like that. I'm going to cut the excess. Hmm. Darn it. That thing was tough. And now we're going to do from the inside out like that. Come on, baby. Got it. Okay. Now, now we got, ooh, that's a lot. We gotta go in. Okay, just screw it in one more time. Until you have it flush. You see, mm, still a couple more turns. Second floor, one half more, half turn. Okay, let's see. That looks really nice. Okay. That looks really, really nice. Okay, so let me back up a little bit of the camera. And uh, yeah, on our um, flaps up position, they're, they're nice and level here, they're flush. That's takeoff and that's landing. Pretty nice. Getting a little bit of a mm -hmm. okay, they're both maxed out to one side, it's very nice. Yep, and uh, that's my one of my that's one of my limits. Okie dokie. Okay. Remember those pieces, those, those two pieces of tape that I asked you to save? They're right here. So, what we're going to do, I'm going to put a very, very light coat, very light coat of glue gun, of hot glue, may I say. There you go. I'm going to put this baby right back where it was. There you go. Okay, we'll do the next side. Same thing. That's a very light coat. The reason why is because you don't want no bumps in there. I'm going to move right there. Exact same swap where we took it off. There you go. And there's plenty of bumps. <laughs> yep. Excess out. Hmm. Don't worry. We are going to cover this or we're going to paint it one of the two. I'm not sure. I will say, I don't know if paint's going to stick on the plastic um, housing of the, of the servo or we just put some tape on, but you know, 
it may be uh, counterproductive because you know tape is a little bit um uh has a lot of sheen to it a very smooth surface and paint might not adhere to that so i'm not, i'm not sure what i'm going to do now but it's up to you that's going to be the final product right now everything is set everything's working mechanically is sound and all we got to do is um, go ahead and put the plane back together set up our radio test it and if everything works well then we go for the cosmetics we can go down here we can paint the well right inside or um yeah it's up to you whatever you want to the only thing i'm worried about is that to be honest with you i should have um installed the servo further down away from the wheel housing here because i'm thinking even that is not that bad I mean, they do snap in and everything looks good, but it's a little bit of a pain in the neck to do. There you go. So, again, mechanically, it's working perfect. Um, all we need to do right now is um, put the plane back together and turn that glue gun off. And you do the final cosmetics, whatever you think is necessary, whatever you're comfortable with. Okay, so I'll be right back. Okay, our next step is going to be assembling the plane back together. Um, we have a new Y harness for the flaps. And we're going to feed it through right there. And we have to hook up the ailerons. Let's see. Oops, okay. Go back. Okay. One more. Easy taking it off to put it in back in. Jeez. Okay. Done. So. Put the screw back in place. Again, whatever else you want to do, it's going to be cosmetic. So definitely I'm going to try to hide the black of the um, uh, servos. And, um, but everything else, I mean, I, I, might, I might, I'm not sure. Um, paint also, just put some paint on the, on the plastic uh, control horns. The only problem is that this kind of paint, or oh, any kind of paint actually, does not adhere well to plastic. So you no. Know, gonna have to be redoing it you can try to do the wells here also but we'll see we'll see what happens it might not be um, worth going through all the trouble anyways okay we're gonna install our brand new wow those uh, <laughs> the servo leads were really long I'm gonna go ahead and install our flaps on the sixth channel. I'm gonna leave, this is a four channel airplane, so I'm gonna leave the fifth channel free. <clears throat> and this here is my um, bind plug. That even is, is, is very nice and accessible there, but still, I like to put a, a servo extension for that. Okie dokie, looks good. So, let me go get the radio, let me go ahead and set up the um, flap system, and uh, we'll come back to it. Okay, our radio setup is done. Um, let me give you my uh, flap system. 
Okay, so I've got 100% on the flaps up, 0% on the takeoff flaps right there, and minus 100% on the landing flaps. So, so I got there. Everything is working perfect. And uh, let me go to the list. So we're done. So I just gotta put the sound on it, um, the voice um, for the flaps, and we're done. If you would like, I mean, again, I am gonna paint a little bit of this um, backing tape that we put on top. And the control horns also, I mean, the, the top part especially, I'm gonna let it paint it. Just because the entire plane has been uh, spray paint from factory. Um, other than that, I mean, we're done. Hey, check this out. Take off and landing. And we're done. Okay, guys, thank you very much for stopping by. Now we have flaps on the T28 Troj and the 1.1 meter from E-Flight. Um, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. And we'll see you next time. Okay guys, um, I hope this video helped you in any way to um, maybe get encouraged to go ahead and do your own mods. Um, very uh, good. Okay guys, um, I hope you enjoyed the video and um, that it helps you at least get courage to go ahead and do some mods yourself. <clears throat> yeah, that, that didn't work. Okay guys, uh, we're all done. Um, I hope this video helped you out. Um, okay guys, thank you very much for stopping by. Um, I hope you uh, enjoyed the video and uh, please like and subscribe. And um, hey, son of a gun, Jesus freaking um well hit the like button please uh, jesus christ come on how you guys do this shit um and i hope uh this uh video will uh jesus christ okay guys thank you very much for stopping by we're done we have flaps on the t28 trojan and uh well Okay guys, thank you very much for stopping by. Now we have flaps on the T28 Troj and the 1.1 meter from E-Flight. Um, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. And we'll see you next time.